Hey, what's up, guys? Vision Tech here, and Techno Nerd here, and today we're gonna be unboxing the TP-Link 8 port 10 by 1000 MBS model number TLSF1008D 8 port desktop switch for routers. So let's get into this video. So first, I got this in the box from Amazon, and now I'm just gonna cut through the box. Let me open the box now. Now there are two options. There's a high speed one and fast ethernet one. The high speed one is this one. There's a there's a gigabit one, but it's a lot cost. It's three dollars costlier, and it looks black. Not mean to be racist or anything. I don't need I don't need a gigabit speed though, because I don't even have gigabit speeds on my connection. So when you open the box, you're going to get a user manual and a user guide apparently which is only about two pages and who cares about this crap so let's open the box here and inside we get a power brick this is, this looks like a good quality power brick and I would expect something this good quality from TP-Link so let's just unwrap the power cord by just sliding it off thing and just setting it aside in this video I will also show you how to set it up next we find the link itself this is a fairly nice looking link and when we take it out of the box we see that it has a nice brush mete finish with the TP link model number here also it has what ports are used and the power if you look on the bottom it has your barcode and on this side it has a power in. On the back side it has a link. That this thing just connects all of them together. So if you plug one active Ethernet connection into any of them, that Ethernet connection will automatically supply the Ethernet power to all of them. Now that we learned and we unboxed this, let's go test it out in real life and do a real field test to find out how to actually set it up. So before we get into how to set up this thing, First, let me show you my wireless problem. So I have this computer, and I also have two Raspberry Pis that all need to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Now my router is downstairs, and to connect all devices, I am currently using a wireless to Ethernet adapter. Now these Ethernet adapters cost about ninety dollars each, and I don't want to have to buy three of them. And with this, I also have more extendability if I buy more Raspberry Pis. I currently have two on the way from Amazon.com. So first let me tell you how to hook everything up. Now let me show you how to connect everything together. So the first thing you want to do is take your wireless Ethernet port and take the adapter that came with it and plug it into the e Ethernet port on your thing. Then put it aside so so we can finish it up for testing. I'm just going to put mine on the floor, but I will desk mount it to my desk later. After that, you can find a spare port on your computer that you can use for temp permanently so you can store your device. I found a handy dandy port on my thing. After that, you should see a green light, light up on your TV link router. And this should be the power, because your power is on. After that, you can take the income connection from the router. In my case, it's not a router, but actually a wireless ex extender. Now, if you want to buy the exact model, it's a Kisco one. So you can just go to Best Buy or something and buy the exact model. So what I'm going to do is take the output from that Kisco thing, and then I'm going to plug it into one of the ports in my TP link thing. Now, just to be nice, I'm going to plug it into port 1. After this, I can plug my Raspberry Pis in. So I'm going to bring my Raspberry Pi, one of my Raspberry Pis, and I'm going to grab one Ethernet cable. And I'm just going to take this Ethernet cable, plug it in here, and plug it in to the TP Link router. Now, this is not power right now, but you should see that each device that works should have one green bar here. After that, I can take my other Raspberry Pi and plug in the third port. Now, they all share a common internet connection. So whatever device currently has the interconnection as the router 
should be shared with all the devices. That is it guys. If you liked this video, please subscribe to me and like and comment on this video. So without any further ado, I will let you go. Bye bye.